everybody, it's K-Ball here from Zurb. Today I'm excited to be talking to you about what you can do with our foundation building blocks that we've just launched and how you can get started installing one into your project. There's multiple options for you, whether it's downloading it from the site as a zip file, copy and pasting code, or using the foundation CLI. So let's get to it. All right, so we're going to look at how you can find and use a building block. So first off, there's the foundation building block site which is the new site is located at foundation.zerb.com slash building blocks. Uh, you go there and you can see that first you can just kind of browse the building blocks. We've got a whole bunch of different things going on, uh, but they're also organized into kind of categories. So say I'm looking for some form based building blocks. I want to improve my forms or find some examples. I can kind of scan through there and see a set of different things. Um, I can look at things for media, for navigation, um, or if I'm looking for something specific, I can actually do a search. Um, I could search for, for example, sticky. Um, and I search for sticky and I see a set of things that either have sticky in the name or sticky in the description, things like that. So that's one way you can find a building block. You can also find building blocks via these kits that we've put together. So we've put together kits uh, focused on particular uh, types of sites that you might build. So for example, a dashboard, a blog, e-commerce site, things like that. And within each one of those kits, you can kind of click in and you can see all the different building blocks that are inside that kit. So we'll talk a little bit more about kits in a minute, but first let's go and look at downloading a particular uh, building block. So if, for example, I want to look at this app dashboard layout. Now this app dashboard layout is pretty sweet. Uh, this is a common layout for app dashboards. There's a sticky top navigation. There's independently scrolling a nav sidebar and content area. The nav sidebar is expandable and contractible. As you go to smaller screens, it starts being smaller. And then when you get down to mobile, it's actually hidden away in an off canvas. So really powerful layout pretty common in applications, dashboards, things like that. Say I want to get started with just using this uh, building block. There's a few different ways I can do that. So first off, I can look at just what is the code involved in this. So I can see there's some HTML. There's actually quite a bit of HTML. Um, there's quite a bit of SAS, and there's a little bit of JavaScript involved. Um, if I want to, if I'm in a project uh, that I've already got going, I just want to copy and paste, I can actually copy and paste this straight. So I can either grab pieces of it or click the copy button to copy it all. Um, if I'm just setting up, you know, my HTML site to start with, I can paste that in, get it all ready, ready to go. Uh, I can also download this building block directly, either as a zip file. So if I download this as a zip file, uh, I can see, okay, here's my zip file. What does that end up looking like? I've got an app dashboard layout which has HTML, JavaScript, SAS, all straight in there. Other things I can do to install this is I can actually use the Foundation CLI. So if you have the Foundation CLI installed, uh, and the way that you do that if you have NPM is you just do NPM install minus G Foundation CLI. Uh, if you already have it installed, make sure you, you upgrade the version to the new version that supports building blocks, which is 2.2.0. Uh, we'll install the foundation CLI. And from there, we can actually install these things from the command line. There's a couple fun things about that. So if you're in, once again, a, any particular dev environment that is not uh, the foundation Zurb stack, but you're in some random dev environment, uh, maybe you're in a Rails app, maybe you're in something else, uh, you can use the CLI just to download, um, once again, as a zip file. So uh, I can use the CLI, I'm in my random site, which actually doesn't have anything in it at this point. Um, but I can do foundation blocks, I can take that command, foundation blocks install app dashboard layout. When I do that, it will ask me, it'll say, hey, you're not in a Zurb stack project, we can't automatically install it, uh, but we can download it as a zip file. And there's that same exact zip file. If I unzip that, I've got my HTML, JavaScript, CSS. If you do happen to be in a Foundation's uh, Zurb stack project, so for example, I have one 
here are demo building blocks. This is the, the standard Zurb template that we ship that is installable by the Foundation CLI. So if you do a foundation new uh, with the Foundation CLI, you can create something with the Zurb stack. Um, it has a standard directory structure you know, with partials, with uh, SAS and components. It has a standard breakdown that, that we understand well. We use it all the time here at Zurb. Uh, we've taught the Foundation CLI how to understand that particularly with regards to building blocks. So if I do that same foundation blocks install app dashboard layout here, it's going to behave a little differently. Instead of asking me about installing a zip file, it's going to put everything in the right places. So I don't have this git init so you can't see it right away. But uh, if we go in here, search partials building blocks, my building block or my app dashboard layout has been put into a partial where I can directly reference it. Similarly, source uh, assets, SAS components. The SAS is right there in the building block. And in fact, we've even added the automatic includes to the app SCSS. So if I look here down at the bottom, I'm automatically importing that SCSS. I'm adding that JavaScript to the config YAML. So I can write here the source, source assets, JavaScript, building blocks, app dashboard layout JS. So I can start using this building block as a partial right away. So if I have my source pages in here, uh, instead of all this, I could just run, was it app dashboard layout? And it, if I run this uh, page, it should just work. Let's take a look. It's going to take a second to run. Get started. This is a new project, so it hasn't been running previously, it's running the build. And let's give it one second to run. Here we go. Our dashboard layout is straight in place. Now, say you want to install not just a block, but a kit. You want to get one of these sets that are all coherent, that all work together. One, you can download it straight here. So for example, I could download the zip file for my dashboard, but you can also do this via the foundation CLI. So if I'm in this Zurb project and I do foundation kits install dashboard, it's actually going to go out and install all of the different building blocks involved with that kit straight into my project. So all of a sudden I have all of these different partials ready to go and use uh, without any additional work. So I can start building all the pieces of my dashboard right here, ready to go, no problems. And it didn't overwrite the one I already had in there, it just left that as is. Um, so this is super cool, gets you kickstarted uh, and going really fast. Uh, first a word about what these kits are. These are not intended to be templates, these are not something where you should be using everything in here. In fact, you can see if we look at this, uh, there's actually multiple versions of the same thing sometimes. There's different types of graphs, there's different types of cards or alerts or things like that. What these are is exactly that, they're building blocks. That's why we call them that. They're things that you can pick and choose and use. You can actually extend and modify as well. They're not packages that are intended to be uh, sort of left untouched, but rather they're a starting point that gets you most of the way there right away. Uh, one quick note before we wrap up uh, from the Foundation CLI as well, you don't have to just install, you can actually see what's available. Foundation kits list, for example, we can see what kits are available to us and how many blocks there are. And Foundation blocks list, right now it's a little overwhelming, uh, but has all of the different building blocks that you might choose to install. All right, so now you've learned how easy it is to get started using building blocks, installing them in your projects, and using them to 10x your development speed. If you want to take this to the next level, we've got resources for you too. We've got a couple of videos. This one is on how to build a building block and use our new building blocks build system. And this one is on how to submit one and what kinds of building blocks we're looking for in the building blocks site. Hope to see you there.